Hey guys, my name is Cynthia and welcome to my channel, Graciously Growing, and welcome to Vlogmas. And so for all of you who are new to my channel, I decided to do Vlogmas this year and that incorporates me doing a video every day from December 1st through December 24th, Christmas Eve. And so I've decided to introduce you to my entire plant collection from A through Z. So um, most of the time I will be introducing you to a certain genius, but sometimes I may be introducing you to a particular plant um, by their name and not by their genius. But today is Vlogmas Day number four. And for D, I am going to be introducing you to my Dracenias and my one and only Disembachia. So I hope you enjoy. So I want to start with my smaller plants. So let's see here. All right, I have this Dracenia. And I used to know the proper name for her, um, but I don't have a name tag in her and I cannot remember right now, but I think it's a white Dracenia um, for the coloring. She is absolutely gorgeous. She hangs out in my office area along with all of my Calatheas. I have been having a little bit of problem with her browning here and there. Um, but other than that, she's doing well. She is growing. Um, and yeah, a nice new um, Dracenia for my collection. I think I've had her for maybe, I think I got her during the summertime. And so yeah, she's doing pretty good. And I love the stripes, her pinstripes, um, the white and green. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I also have another Dracenia that hangs out in my office and she has been um, hanging out in my office for quite a while. Let me see. Yeah, this is my Marginata braid, Dracenia Marginata braid. And she is just flourishing. She's twice the size that she was. Um, and yeah, she's been really easy to grow and if you, she has kind of like the same coloring as the other Jacenia. No, I take that back because she doesn't really have any, no, she doesn't have any white in her. She's more of a um, different hues of green, like dark green, lime green is uh, her color. I have also have another uh, Jacenia Marginata braid, but I'm gonna be showing you her a little later she's really big and um, I'm definitely not gonna try to pick her up so I will when I talk about her I will put a, a, a small video showing her and another Dracenia on the screen but until then I want to show you another marginata braid I have and she's a little wonky um, she hangs out in my guest bathroom and when I say she's a little wonky look here nothing at all she lost all her leaves on the bottom i thought she was pretty much dying and so kind of as a last attempt i just put her somewhere you know i took her out of prime real estate as i called it and put her somewhere you know tucked her away in the um in my guest bathroom and she started growing and um she is different in coloring because she has a little bit of burgundy to her you can see so green and burgundy. And so I don't really like the fact that she is bare down here. And I don't think that she will ever grow leaves back there. But um, maybe if I can find another one like her in the store, I'll just plant her um, with a smaller one and maybe that would cover up this bare spot. But other than that, she really loves hanging out in the bathroom. She's in the window and that window is frosted, but I guess she still gets enough light and she she's happy and that's where she hangs out. Um, the only other Jacinia that I'm gonna show you is this one right behind me. Cause like I said, I have 
one, two, three that are really big and I will be uh, putting videos up on them, um, but I won't be actually trying to handle them like I'm doing this one. This is, believe it or not, not my biggest Dracenia, but she is huge. She is absolutely gorgeous and she has not lost her leaves at the bottom. And she just keeps growing and growing. And her, she's such a vibrant color. And she almost, her coloring here, to me, almost looks like some type of a bluish color. Um, but the green is really, really beautiful. And she hangs out in my master bedroom. And she has prime real estate because I just, I get to see her um, when I'm falling asleep at night. And so when I do my um tour of my master bedroom you'll see her in all her glory but yeah she is growing and if she continues to grow um i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to keep her where i have her i may have to move some other plants out of the way and let her just shine because she is absolutely gorgeous she loves the spot that she's in and i would not move her for anything and i also like the way if you can look at how her she keeps the coloring on her stems. They're just as colorful as the actual leaves that are protruding out. So yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous. All right, and my last uh, plant for Vlogmas, day number floor, four, is my one and only Dracenia. Now to be honest, I don't, particularly care for Dracenias um, because of this plant initially I think it's the reason she just gave me so much trouble here's another plant that look she's completely bare on the bottom and then you know as her leaves grow she keeps dropping her bottom leaves I don't know if that is just how these plants grow or does it mean that, um, you know, I'm not caring for her properly? But look at her coloring. Isn't she beautiful? It's, she's almost pure white in the middle, a cream in the middle of her leaves. And then it is, you know, outlined with this beautiful green. And so she's absolutely gorgeous. She hangs out in my master bedroom as well. And she hangs out on the other side of the Dracenia I showed you. And so, yeah, I may add more uh, disembacchias to my um, plant collection. But in regards to Vlogmas Day number four, I'm thinking, I believe I've showed you all of my smaller size Dracenias. And like I said, I am going to end this video with the two Dracenias that um, hang out in my... Uh, what would I call that? My entryway as you enter my home. And then upstairs in the little plank nook, I have another Jacenia that's gotten quite big. Um, I don't think, you know, she may be small enough that I may be able to show you her in person. So give me a minute. We're going to see how this works. All right, guys, here is another huge Dracenia. This is the Dracenia that hangs out in my plant nook upstairs. I'm going to try to lift her. Oh my God, she's so, so heavy. And she is pretty much, she's the same Dracenia that I just showed you, but she's just way bigger. I don't know if I can even get all of her um, on camera, but look at this plant. She is enormous. And I think I'm going to still put a picture of her um, on the screen because I think the reason why she is growing so big is right across from her is these three windows where she gets a lot of sunlight. Um, and I think she just absolutely loves it. And she's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And she's not lost her coloring at all. And so, yeah, um, the other two Dracenias... I am definitely not going to try to pick up and bring in here. Um, and if you're wondering, I'm in my plant room and stay tuned because one of the days 
Um, I will be uh, showing you my plant room. It's a work in progress. Um, I had a video a couple, maybe maybe a month or two ago where one of my sons uh, surprised me for my birthday with a uh, Mills Bowl tall cabinet. And believe it or not, I have still not bought the things um, that I need to make it into the um, a place where you know you can, you know, with the with the grow lights, the uh, the fans, the humidifier. There's a lot of things that you um, need to do if you want to turn it kind of into like a little greenhouse. Um, and so I haven't had the chance. I've been working a lot. I've been really busy, but I am planning on getting that done and um, right now I just have plants hanging out in there with the door open um, but I eventually am going to finish that up but that's here in my plant room and then I just added plants from around the house um, and placed them in here I do have a few that I have purchased but yeah so stick around because one for Vlogmas, I'm going to uh, take you around to each of my uh, rooms where I have the majority of my plant collection. So that would be in my office area where there's quite a few, my calatheas and a few other plants. I'm also going to take you in my living room, dining room area where I have my plant wall. And then I'm going to bring you upstairs to here, my plant room, um, and then finally in my master bedroom. But as far as this video goes for Vlogmas Day 4, uh, I am going to show you my last two Dracenias, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, here is my front door. And right across um, in my entryway is two Dracenias. They hang out on either side of this uh, console table here. And these Dracenias, um, to be quite honest, I don't think they're doing as well as they would be doing if they were getting more sunlight. Um, there is two or three window, well, three windows that are right above them, but I think they're too high for them to actually get any light um, from that, those windows. And so I'm thinking about maybe, uh, replacing these two plants with something that needs less sunlight, but nevertheless, this is where they are right now. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video vlog. This num day number four, D for my Dracenias and Dysimbachia. And like I always say, be blessed.